Hey guys, just wanted to go over the installation of a um, IAG air and oil separator. So uh, I found the manual is a bit confusing. So hopefully by showing you the overall routing of the hoses, it'll make things a little bit easier for somebody else trying to do the install. First off, I wanted to highlight this is a 15, um, 2015 Subaru. And I, um, I am running typically a beat rush strut bar, uh, strut bar on the car. Now, if I had to install that, um, you would see that uh, typically the strut bar would touch here and wouldn't allow me clearance to thread the sole in. So I went ahead and I fabricated a spacer. If you can see it there, out of aluminum. It's about a quarter of an inch and it spaces out the uh, AOS and it gives me enough clearance by the way that this kind of hovers on top to go ahead and, and, and do finish this install and, and get it nice and clean. So let's talk about the hose connection. So as you know, the engine has two breeder ports. Here on the passenger side, you have this one hose. It goes all the way to the most forward opening uh, or breather hose on the crankcase. Um, I do want to point out that there's a backwards uh, or one that's a little bit more towards the back that connects both heads. Don't mess with that. That's a, a balance port uh, and it kind of balances pressures between both sides of the engine. Uh, so anyway, going back to this particular hose, we'll go to the top port on the, uh, I'm going to call this a catch can, uh, even though that's not the right terminology, it makes it easier for me to get through this video. Um, so it goes on top of the catch can here on this port. Uh, then the other side of the engine, so if we go through like this, there we go, it was a little blurry there for a second. The second guy, second hose, um, let's get a little bit of light here, same scenario, there's a port right there, the f most forward uh, facing one, and then you route the hose like so right against your right on top of your air conditioning uh, conduit there. I was able to understand the question I heard. Oh, that was uh, my Amazon Echo trying to communicate with me. Uh, anyhow, then you route this hose to the middle port, okay? And then this bottom port here, it's a 5 8 uh, of an inch hose. This comes around and connects, and I'm gonna show this because it's a little bit tricky. It connects to the center breather hole where your factory PCB valve actually goes. So the way this is connected is uh, AIG gives you a piece of hose here at the bottom that you can trim to kind of get enough height to clear the, the back of the block here and then you have a Y. So this particular piece of hose, uh, it's not the one that goes from the bottom part of the, of the catch can there, it's actually this one. This one, the, the 90 at the top that goes down to here, this is your uh, breather, so this is where you're sucking up the, the fumes. And then this here, the Y, it's, it's a smaller hose. This one, I don't have it connected yet, but it runs through, so you can see through the bottom. And I kind of have it hanging here loose, but there is a bottom port on the AOS here at the bottom. So it's a nipple where this will go in. So I just have to go ahead and trim it and zip tie it there. And that's what connects. So those are my, your your three or four connections that address the, the engine side of things. Now, the, uh, the actual PCV uh, inlet on this uh, particular model catch can is addressed by a hose that goes from, not these guys, but here on the side, can't really see it. It's a little dark in here. Right there on the side. Let me see if I can just catch with the light. And I'm blocking the camera. Apologize for that. Let me see. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a there's an inlet or an outlet there on the side on the top. Uh, this will connect to the manifold. So the instructions tell you to take out the throttle body. I actually have the manifold taken out of the car because I was doing couple of other, other upgrades that require that. And essentially, your manifold sits like this. 
on the car and what you're looking for is you're looking for the factory uh, PCV connection which is a hose right here on the throttle body so they actually have you take this out completely to be able to reach this nipple uh, or connector and that's fine uh, if you have uh, if you haven't this taken this out but since I have it out I decided that I was gonna pull that hose and that hose is this so it just kind of kind of stays there you just pull that out and then this hose will then connect as you can see it has a threaded uh, connection there that will thread to the top up there on the AOS uh, aside from that then you have some coolant connections so those will come out from here outwards or inwards this connects to the top reservoir and then there's a bottom one also that I might address on a, on a different video these two connections basically go to the intake manifold so one of these will go um, here and the other one will go through the evap uh, fuel system or fuel fumes uh, system and eventually will end up on this nipple here um, so one of the things that I thought that'd be very useful or would be useful in the instruction is to have a have a picture of these things just calling out the different sizes of hoses that go into this device uh, quite frankly it was kind of difficult following and I can see why people uh, complain about this installation anyway it's not that bad once you know uh, where things go and how they route it this was to me the most tricky to try to decipher on the instructions hope you find this helpful